My fellow Jamaicans in the diaspora, I extend warmest greetings to you from our beloved Jamaica on this very special day in our calendar, Diaspora Day. So many of you are unsung heroes who continue to excel on the international stage and to shine in your communities. We are proud of your many successes, big and small, personal and professional, due in no small part we know to your strong Jamaican roots. This year's milestone is even more important as the world grapples with the COVID-19 pandemic. I therefore pay special tribute to our doctors, nurses, and other essential frontline workers who continue to risk their lives every day. I commend and thank you for your selfless service and sacrifice. These past few months have been an incredibly challenging time for all of us. Many of you have lost family members and loved ones, and many your livelihood. On behalf of the government of Jamaica, I extend our deepest sympathies to all of you who have suffered loss. The pandemic has also affected the way in which we socialize and interact with each other, including with our families making even grieving more difficult than before. As we manage our own challenges here, we stand with you during this difficult period. And speaking of difficult periods, it would be remiss of me to not recognize the current movements and calls for action to address systemic racism globally. And in particular, in the countries where we have our largest diaspora populations. As we share in the pain and outrage caused by the incidents which have put new focus and energy behind the calls for justice, the government of Jamaica, as we have done across administrations and for decades, continues to promote the unifying ethos of our motto, out of many, one people. Even as we work on our own challenges nationally, we also call globally for the recognition of human rights and dignity of all people and the removal of discrimination of any kind, including racism. Indeed, we continue to work for a just world for all, even as we meet the challenges of safety and good health. Notwithstanding actual distance and now social distancing, we have found creative ways to maintain our strong connections as a family. Indeed, the challenges of COVID-19 have given rise to innovations and new opportunities through technological advancement to keep us engaged both personally and professionally. Many of these will serve us well in the future. Significantly, the pandemic has served to highlight the best of our people who have clearly demonstrated the generosity of the human spirit. I was particularly touched by the acts of kindness displayed by Jamaicans in the diaspora who went beyond the call of duty to support many of our countrymen and women who are stranded abroad and experiencing great hardship. You have undoubtedly been your brothers and sisters keepers. Your efforts, coupled with those of the Jamaican embassies, high commissions, consulates, and private sector companies, highlighted the inextricable interconnectedness between Jamaica and its diaspora. It's within that context that the government is continuing its efforts to formalize the involvement of the diaspora in Jamaica's development. As we take concrete steps to regain a sense of normalcy, both at home and in your respective countries of residence, we must forge ahead with courage and renewed hope. Let's come together in a spirit of oneness to continue to build our communities and our nation. The diaspora will emerge from this crisis stronger together. Now that we're moving closer to fully open borders, I very much look forward to welcoming you home again to our beautiful shores in the not too distant future. One love and happy Diaspora Day.